Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Figma in its latest config event has announced some crazy updates that a lot of us were waiting for for a long time. So they're finally here and some updates are super, super useful. So without further ado, let's just dive right into the updates. So the first update is dark mode, finally. So on Windows or Mac, all you need to do is go to this Figma icon on the left under a project, go to preferences and under preferences at the bottom, you'll see theme. You can either switch to dark theme or what I like is the system theme. And of course, there are certain elements which do kind of irritate me in this case, in the sense that the ruler does not change to a dark mode also. For the inside, you can always change this to a black background, but the ruler, you know, it's still a little irritating. To kind of fix this ruler issue, you can just go to the Figma icon here again, go to view and under this, you'll get something called rulers. So now you have a true dark theme. The rulers, uh, for those who use rulers, you'll just have to make do with the light theme ruler for now. The next one officially is for animation fans. Smart Animate has gotten a big update. Now, if you animate between say two artboards, you switch to prototype, you drag from one to the other. Now, instead of seeing a normal GIF or something, you see an actual interaction inside this block here. So whenever I hover over this, it changes. Apart from that, whenever you do smart animate and under easing, you can say custom spring and custom busier. So they're now two different. Of course, you have things like gentle, Gentle is like this. Slow is of course slower and end slow as well. Bouncy, I finally they have bounce effect and custom spring looks like this. So the Bezier curve earlier was very simple and very easy to use. Now they've allowed you to either use it simply or you can use a complex Bezier curve like you find in any animation tool. I could play around with this for hours if I wanted and it's a lot of fun and you see how it really interacts. So now the animation possibilities in Figma are almost endless and I'm super excited to use this in other tutorials as well. Another exciting update is actually with the font and this is something that will be very useful for people trying to create custom fonts inside Figma or just working with different font libraries and fitting it onto your theme. So all you need to do is go to any text that you've placed. There's this little three dots under text as you can see. Uh, under the options, you'll see a brand new slew of resizing here, which is auto height, fixed size, as well as truncate text. So now whenever you kind of shorten this box, it will truncate with these little ellipses at the end. This is super useful because earlier there was no such option like this. You had to do it manually. Apart from that, they've divided this into three parts basic details and variable. So variable fonts, you can basically increase or decrease the thickness of the font to your liking. And you can even adjust it in between. So as you can see, the weight is 743 instead of the original 700 bold. So no matter whether the text has a certain weight, it can change the weight of the font just like that. And it's doing it pretty reasonably well as well. So these are certain features you'll find on tools like Illustrator or Photoshop, but now it's here as well. So you don't have to use multiple tools for font thickness like this. Another useful feature that it's finally there is individual strokes. That means any object that you want to give one side of the object as a stroke, you can do that. So for example, you go to the right here after selecting this button, um, there is stroke, I add a stroke and under here there is this box. If I click on this box, I can give an individual stroke, bottom, top, left, right or custom. So if I give on the right, as you can see, only the right has a stroke here. If I say custom, I'll be able to select which side, which thickness as well. So I can change thickness of each side individually as well, which is so, so useful. All the other features will stay the same, like stroke style. For example, Figma has used it as a separator. So you can add separators without adding a line. Another thing Figma has changed, which I'm super happy about is, as you can see on canvas editing for auto layout. So now you can just drag around and change the auto layout on the canvas rather than editing everything from the properties panel on the right. Now on the right, you'll see a new auto layout and there's a new mark as well. Thank you, Figma. <laughs> Uh, where you have this, first of all, a very visual way to kind of display the alignment of the text or the components inside the auto layout, which I really like. Kind of reminds me of things like Webflow. And again, you have 
all these custom spacings on all sides as something outside earlier you had to click on a menu like this and then you had to edit from inside that menu now everything is super flexible and easy to use apart from that if you click on the three dots here now you'll get spacing mode packed and space between which was earlier there but they also explain how it works so now if you're a beginner it's easier to select the best option strokes also you can include in layout or exclude from layout now if you want the strokes to not play a part in auto layout and just be visual then it's excluded under otherwise if you want the strokes to be a part of the button then you can include it that's that's great something that you can't change right now is text based alignment so now it will align everything based on the center of the text rather than any other components which is really cool because a lot of times the text alignment is a little off uh, as compared to say an icon or something and you have to manually change the height of the text or height of the line so in this case, it's just doing centering the text, which is really cool. Okay, this is something that would be tricky to show practically right now, but there's something called streamline your system, which means now you can differentiate different components as, uh, as different stuff. For example, inside a button, you can have a CTA or an icon and then showcase it to the developers. So now the component properties will also change a little bit. So if you save a component, you can uh, add certain customizations from right there in, under the component properties. This is a quicker and easier way, especially, especially if you're handing off stuff to the developers. Now, apart from this, they have a complete Twitter thread. So a couple of other updates that I really like, which I'm not showing you practically right now. First one is review states. So now you can branch uh, certain flows or certain designs and then say, okay, I suggest a change here. So if something is edited on one person's laptop, the other person's laptop will say changes suggested on these, these properties or, or these, these states. Some of these features are also in beta right now. So publicly it's not launched, only beta testers and users will get a chance to use it. For example, uh, more accessible shortcuts are available only in the beta. Favorite files, again, this is available right now. You can actually favorite your files. So inside your home, you, you'll have a favorite file section, which I think is so cool, which is a much needed feature because we all have certain files we use use more often. You can even password protect links now. So a lot of people are worried their designs will get leaked or teams are worried that, you know, stuff will get out. So now you can password protect the links you're sharing with other designers or stakeholders. Apart from that, there are so many updates that I can't list all of them right now. They have a little link. I'll have all the links to check out the features and everything in the description. So make sure you check that out as well. Kudos Figma, big claps. Big claps to you and thank you so much for the amazing updates. I'm still waiting on some stuff, but it's still cool. I hope you liked this video, guys. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and tell me in the comments which is your favorite update in this Figma update. I'm really, really looking forward to see what you guys like the most. I'll see you next time, same place, same time. Until next time, take care and God bless.